It is common knowledge that helicopters need a spacious and stable place to land safely. But we common people seldom talk about or even witness helicopters landing on moving ships. In this channel, we talked about aircraft carriers that make it possible for helicopters and other aircraft to land and house on large ships. But it may even surprise you that helicopters can safely land on smaller ships with the smaller flight deck. Given the limited space of the flight deck and the movements of the ship against the sea currents and wind, it may look impossible but it is easier than we can ever imagine here's how but before we witness how helicopters land in small ships please hit that like and subscribe button to get the freshest updates on technology military innovations aircraft carriers warships and space explorations now let's go back to the helicopter landing at sea natural situations like wind speed ship motion and sea states may affect the operations and so there are two standard emergency procedures for helicopters that cannot land on the flight deck of a small ship, one of which is the use of a bear trap or the helicopter hull down and rapid securing device. It is a Canadian naval innovation designed to enable the safe operation of helicopters from destroyer sized ships. Aside from the mentioned natural situations at sea, the ship's airwakes can also affect the helicopter's performance. Factors such as these are considered in the ship helicopter operating limits or SHOL, are also known as S-HAL. A ship's helicopter operational limit is a polar plot of acceptance relative wind speed and direction conditions that are identified as safe for helicopter flight operations from a ship's deck. Parameters such as sea state, pitch, and roll are also considered. Within these operating limits, a helicopter is sure to land safely on the ship. Traditionally, the commanding officer would use a printed paper s hall to manually plot wind information on the diagram after collecting data on the ship's motion and wind conditions. Thus, it has been a challenge how to land a larger helicopter on a rolling flight deck of small ships. That was until the mid-1950s when the Royal Canadian Navy developed the world's first helicopter hull down and rapid securing device or also known as the Bear Trap. The Bear Trap has been adopted by navies around the world including the United States, Australia, and Japan. Hence, Bear Trap has been considered Canada's greatest contribution to the advancement of naval aviation. The Bear Trap is a rectangular device that enables a helicopter to land safely and quickly on a rolling, pitching deck of a ship at sea. The haul down cable applies a stable centering force that allows the pilot to land the helicopter. Important leverage of Bear Trap assisted landing is that it does not require any personnel on the flight deck once the cable from the ship is attached to the helicopter. Once the helicopter lands on the deck of the ship, the bear trap clamps onto the main probe extending below the hull between the main wheels, securing the aircraft and preventing it from sliding overboard. Now that the helicopter is secure in the bear trap, the tail probe is engaged on one of the slots of the flight deck and is locked on the grid. Thereby, the helicopter is secured and is prevented from yawing with the roll of the ship. The bear trap aligns the helicopter with the deck trap. From then, the aircraft is traversed into the hangar where it is protected from the elements. It is the ship that is quickly freed from any maneuvering restrictions imposed by the landing and so is safe from any attack or damage. This advanced version of Bear Trap is made possible by Curtis Wright's advanced handling technology known as ASSIST. The ASSIST system is a state-of-the-art deck handling solution for shipboard helicopter operations. This system allows all deck handling operations to be accomplished without the need for personnel on the flight deck. It enables safe helicopter handling day or night even in adverse weather and sea conditions. Although there are multiple versions of recovery Assist, other navies rely on a grappling probe that is secured when the helicopter lands and the bear trap is closed. Another option for bear traps is a deck lock system that uses a steel grid in the flight deck. The pilot hovers over the grid and descends only at the right time. Once the pilot has found the right moment to descend, a locking harpoon is deployed. This harpoon engages the hydraulic actuator system that pulls the helicopter onto the deck. Just like the updated version of bear traps, this deck lock system does not require any personnel to approach the helicopter. It can even rotate the helicopter 360 degrees for easy handling. Due to the advances in naval technology, Japan 2017 was able to develop the first system that can automatically land a helicopter on a moving ship. This system relies on GPS navigation for the helicopter to get close to the ship. The laser sensors then are activated on both vessels which
which calculate the relative position of the helicopter to the moving ship. While these systems and technologies allow the safe landing of helicopters, casualties are inevitable. This can be accounted for by either helicopter malfunction or an issue on the flight deck. Over the history of helicopter landings at sea, some of the attempts have resulted in fatalities, yet emergency drills can increase the odds of survival. One alternative landing during emergencies is to land somewhere else. Since helicopters can be refueled through the ship, refueling can increase the helicopter's chance to look for an alternative landing area. To give a clear picture of the refueling of helicopters through the ship, here is how it is done. Helicopter in-flight refueling begins when the helicopter lowers a bag attached to a cable onto the flight deck. The refueling crew then attaches the fuel hose to the cable that is hooked up to the fuel tank. Once fueling is done, the hose is lowered and the helicopter flies away. When options have been considered and landing on a ship is not possible, the remaining option is to land on water. While you think that this option can be fatal for the helicopter crews, this is not outrightly true since flight crews are equipped with Angra's training, they can make it out alive. This option has been done during a replenishment mission where a CH-46 Sea Knight's engine failed over the deck of USNS Pika. By relying on auto-rotation, the pilot was able to successfully land the helicopter on water. The crew escaped the fast-sinking aircraft thanks to the Angra's training they received. The third and rather rare option aside from landing on the ship deck is to accommodate multiple helicopters, even if there is only one room for one. Could this be possible? Historically, yes. This happened when the United States was evacuating troops from Vietnam. During that time, several South Vietnamese helicopters packed with refugees approached the ship. In turn, the helicopters were allowed to land one at a time. How did they make it? After each helicopter lands on the ship, the crew skidded the helicopter off the ship to make room for the next helicopter to land. Other cases during this rescue made the pilot drop off their passengers on the deck and then crash landed on the water for further rescuing. Given all the knowledge on all of these options for a safe landing, it is right to say that it is indeed possible that helicopters can land not just on land, but also on small ships and even on water. Again, this is high technology and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.